Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Tahina with Miss Tahina's LEGO Robotics. Today I have dual robot arms to play a cool game of tic-tac-toe. If you want to see that, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. So I'm sure you've seen uh, Lego EV3 tic-tac-toe robots before, but today's one's going to be pretty simplified. In fact, I'm going to show you in a second how to build these cool robot arms. They're super easy to build. And if you have the right materials, how to play tic-tac-toe with them. So let me go ahead and first introduce you to the robot arm. Okay, they're so easy to make that I actually have two that are identical. In fact, if you saw the video of my mini golf robot, this is basically the same robot except I modified the arm so that it can hold a ping pong ball to play tic-tac-toe. So the first thing I want to do is show you how to build this and then we're going to take this out and put it on the table so we can actually play tic-tac-toe. So let's go ahead and go to the building instructions. Okay, so the building instructions for this robot arm are just going to be a series of photos that I took as I was building it. So if you can follow instructions, you'll be able to create this robot arm yourself. So you guys ready? Let's go. Okay, so now that you have your robot arm built, and if you have something that you can have the robot toss, like a ball, you can program this robot to toss the ball, and we're going to go ahead and get the tic-tac-toe game set up. Okay, so I went to Walmart and bought these party cups, and basically cut them down to size like that. And obviously with tic-tac-toe, you're going to need nine of them. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hot glue them into this box so they don't move around. Okay, everybody, this is how the tic-tac-toe game looks like after I got the cups glued in there. I couldn't believe I got this perfect box where the cups fit perfectly in there. I mean, there is some dead space right there, but that will be if the ball goes there, 
that will just be a no turn for the person. And I love the fact that we have these flaps on the box so that the ball can actually hit the flaps and roll into the cups. So let's go ahead and figure out how to play. Okay, everybody, so the box is ready. It might be wise to secure the box down with tape to whatever you have the box on. Um, I have two robot arms just because I had enough supplies for it. But if you don't, having one is fine. You can just have the two people that are playing tic-tac-toe just swap out, you know, the robot and, you know, use their colored ping pong ball. But I was lucky enough to have enough for two. So each uh, person can now have their own um, robot. So the general idea here is, is how to play. Um, you know, you can use whatever you want. There should be some kind of marking on the table so that the person knows how far up they can go. But the person can basically move the robot where they want, either um, up, back, to the sides, you know, angle it for whatever cup they're aiming for. And basically, the program just has the arm tossing the ball. And in this case here, when we play, the ball's gonna hit the table first, bounce, and then roll in. You know, if you don't want it to bounce, you can obviously move the, you know, arm closer or farther. And, you know, you can determine how far up the arm can go. And basically, it's just regular tic-tac-toe rules. Now, with the way we're going to play it, if the ball lands, let's say, right in the middle there, that's going to be a no turn. And basically, the people that play will just switch taking turns. It's not a race. It's just going to be this person goes then this person goes and they just swap turns so if the ball goes off to the side that person loses their turn if there is already a color in the container and the and another color goes in there that's going to also be where the person loses their turn so the person loses their turn if three things happen if the ball goes off to the side if the ball goes into a container where there's a color already there, doesn't matter if it's their own or the opponent's. And if it goes off, if the ball does not quite make it into a container, let me see if I can balance it there, that would also be a no turn. If it goes in front of the box, behind the box, to the side, that's when the person loses their turn. And like regular tic-tac-toe, the person who gets three in a row first wins. So let's go ahead and see a basic tic-tac-toe game in action. Um, we're gonna basically have green versus pink, and it's gonna be the first one to win two games wins. So let's go to the tic-tac-toe game. Okay, so we're gonna have green versus pink. First one to win two games wins. Green, we're gonna have you go first. That is a no turn. Pink, your turn. Ooh, right in the middle. Green's turn. Okay, in the corner, pink's turn. And that's a no turn. Green's turn. Ooh, okay. Pink's turn. And that's a no turn. Green's turn. Ooh, green almost has a tic-tac-toe. Pink's turn. And that's a no turn. Oh, okay. That's a no turn. Cannot have two ping pong balls in the same container. Pink's turn. Ooh, okay. Green's turn. And green can get tic-tac-toe two ways. Pink's turn. And cannot have the same ping pong ball in the same container. 
Green's turn. And green is in the same container. Pink's turn. And pink cannot be in there. Green's turn. Green cannot be in that container. Pink's turn. Green can't seem to put this game away. Let's go to pink. Nope. Nope. Okay, pink's turn. Nope. Okay, green still has two ways to get tic-tac-toe. And green tic-tac-toe. Okay, so green has one tic-tac-toe. This is going to be game two, and I found a different vantage point here. So pink, we're going to let you start this game. That is a no turn. Green's turn. Green has the bottom. Okay, pink. Ooh, and pink has the right side. Green's turn. Green has the middle. Okay, pink's turn. Ooh, and pink has the uh, upper right there. Either one can get a tic-tac-toe. It's green's turn. And, and it's Pink's turn. Nope, that's a no turn. Green can win it right here. Oh, green is in the upper left. It's Pink's turn. And nope, can't occupy that same spot. Same color, so we'll leave it. Green's turn. Oh, and green is over there on the left side. Can still win tic-tac-toe, but now two ways. Pink's turn. Nope, still occupying the same spot. Green can win it. Nope, that's a no turn. And it's Pink's turn. Green can win three ways, so it'd be nice for a block. Or to win. Okay. Green's turn. Nope. Occupying the same container. Pink's turn. Nope. Okay, it's Green's turn. Oh, that was close. Pink's turn. Nope, that's a no turn. Okay, green's turn. Nope, same container. Pink's turn. Nope, that's a no turn. Green's turn. Oh, and green, tic-tac-toe, two of them. Okay, we're giving you a bonus third game here and a chance for pink to try to win here. So green, we're gonna let you go first. And green has the left side. Okay, pink. Ooh, pink has the right side. Green's turn. Ooh, green has the bottom middle. Okay, pink. Oh, nope, can't occupy that container. Okay, so it's green's turn. 
Nope, green occupies the same spot. Pink's turn. Pink has the middle. Green's turn. Green has the top, middle. Pink's turn. Nope, occupying the same container. Green's turn. Ooh, green has the upper left, can win two ways. Pink's turn. Okay, green, it's your turn. Nope, occupying the same container. Pink's turn. Oh, occupying the same container. Green. Okay, it's Pink's turn. That's a no turn. Green. Green, lower right. Okay, Pink. Okay, green. Nope, occupying the same container. Pink. Okay, green's turn. Nope, occupying the same container. Pink. And that's a no turn. Okay, green's turn. Oh, that's a no turn. Pink. Nope, same container. Okay, green's turn. And green with the tic-tac-toe. Okay, guys, so there you have it. The cool tic-tac-toe robot arm. And what's really cool is you can use it for a bunch of things. Like I said, this was the same robot that I used for my mini golf uh, putter. So this is a really cool robot where you can come up with so many different ideas of how to use it. So if you notice in the video, I actually had my daughters playing the tic-tac-toe game. And so after they were done, I said, so tell me about it. And they just said, we didn't realize how hard it was you know, to get the ball to where they wanted it to go, especially the cups that are closest to the nearest edge. So it's just a challenging game. And it's just one of those things where you kind of have to, you know, figure out the learning curve and where does the ball bounce and everything like that. So, but they did say at the end, it was super fun. So hopefully you can build this and create your own way of having a tic-tac-toe game or whatever you can be creative and figuring out. Okay, guys, hopefully you enjoy it. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Zyga Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care.